Okay, you want a paddle clip to hold your paddles to your kayak, but you don't want to mess with the PVC. Well, 906 Steve sent me an idea, and I'm going to share it with you right now, and it'll only cost you about, I don't know, six bucks to implement. Stay tuned. Okay, this video is the third in my paddle clip series, and although I love the PVC version, and I think it's the best, there are many folks out there that don't have a heat gun to be able to do the manipulation required to create one of these. Well, thankfully, 906 Steve, a YouTube viewer, sent me a note saying, hey, why not use nylon conduit clips? And so that's what this hack is. I've, I went out and got some one inch nylon conduit clips. I would have tried three quarter, but it, I couldn't find those in my local home improvement stores and it's not worth ordering them online, but they may give you a tighter fit. Now, these conduit clips come with this top right here that will go down and snap. I elected to take that off. Don't know if that was 906's uh, issue, but if you decide you want to leave them on, I took them off because it'd be too hard. These are very tight to clip and unclip when I want to get the paddles out. But if you want to do that, I recommend you take off one of the prongs to make it easier to get these clipped and unclipped. And if you do that, you may not need as thick a foam that I'm about to go into in the next step here. So the next step is to cut out a nice square piece of thick foam out of a piece of pool noodle. And the easiest way to do this is to use a nice sharp fillet knife. And what we're going to end up doing is we're going to have this down here at the bottom and just go up one side. And that's why it's got to be thick. If it goes up two sides, and I tried this before and it doesn't work, this eventually peels off and will cause the contraption to fail. But over here, this gets screwed down into the base and then the rest of it is attached using wildwood contact cement. And I recommend you have one long piece that goes over both clips because then you'll get a better grip on this thing. Well, let me go ahead and get this thing assembled and I'll show you how it's going to go. Well, the first step is to decide how much of this stuff you need. Now, I don't have drip rings on my paddles because I use my the hack that uses duct tape to keep the water from running down the shaft. So I can have these fairly close together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure to here, I'm going to cut it, and then I'm going to put that contact cement on both surfaces and apply it. And then I will attach it to here because I want the screw going through the bottom to give me a nice firm fit. Time to wrap this hack up. I finally got the other piece of foam glued down effectively and this is gonna you know work decently you can see that the paddle is in there fairly firmly and the last step would be just to attach this to your kayak but my bottom line on this is that I would rather go with the PVC because I just think it's gonna last longer now this will work but I've got another one coming up that doesn't require PVC bending, but is using PVC, and I think that may be the solution for you guys that can't do the melt option that I prefer, like on this one. But here it is. If, if you want to do this one, it looks like it's going to work. Comments? Throw them down below. Thanks.